Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I want to share with you an idea that I came up with. I needed a several layered pocket to put in a junk journal. I wanted at least five slots, and I'm actually going to get six. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm starting with a piece of scrapbook paper. Any paper will work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down to be five and a quarter by one and a half inch strips. And you get a bunch out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start cutting this down. Okay, so I've got my strips cut. Now what I'm going to do is, at least on six of them, so we only need six right now, is I'm going to put Distress Ink on the edges. All right, so now that I've got these six strips ready to go, next, it's the easiest part ever. So I wanted to make a pocket that I could put things in that would be in heights or tiers, but I didn't want a lot of bulk. And normally I do like an accordion fold pocket, but when I did that out of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, I couldn't quite get it to where I could get five pockets and it was kind of bulky. So here's what I came up with. Cut the strips and now what I'm going to do is about a half an inch apart. I'm going to flip it over to the back side and I'm going to take some washi tape and tape this together. Now if you don't have washi tape, you could use another strip of paper. I didn't want to glue on the bottom because that would limit how deep my pocket was. So right now we've got this right here. So this is going to be the front, that's going to be a pocket, and now we're going to just keep doing the same thing. Line it up about half an inch, turn it over, tape it down. I'm going to keep doing that until I have all of the pieces taped together. All right, so I've gone on head and I've attached all of those pieces. So now what I'm going to do is glue these together. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a Lean's Tacky Glue and put it right here on each edge and then fold this up and do the next one. And then I will press this down. I'll use my finger and press along those edges. You can use your bone folder to really smooth that out. If there's any excess glue, just go ahead and wipe that away. All right, next I'm going to lay this here and I'm going to stamp the shabby stitches with the archival ink jet black. So I'm just going to stamp it right across the top and then each layer. I'm going to add some distress inks to the other edges. And there is my pocket. Isn't that kind of cool? So you have one, two, three, four, five. And if you don't glue this completely down, you have one in the back that makes six. So let's go ahead. I've got a page here that was a mop-up page that I created. And I've got a couple of these little pockets. So let's go ahead and glue one of these pockets down right here. I'm just going to add glue down one side and then across the bottom and then back up the other side. And because I made them five and a quarter and I'm using a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper folded in half, I can center it up like so. Kind of cool, huh? And I'm going to go ahead and put one on the other side as well. This would be a great way to use up scraps of paper. If you can get it to be about a one and a half inch strip, it would be perfect to piece it together. So there are the two pockets. And then this is what my plan was, is I have these journaling cards that are numbered, that are part of the Peacock Christmas subscription box. And I wanted them to be stair-stepped in the pockets. And they wouldn't be near as bulky because it was going up the page. And there's even room to put something in the very back. So if I had, I don't think I have a, I think that was too wide. Yeah, it's too wide. But if you had a, a narrow, oh, that's what I need to do. Here it is. I have a little notepad that I made. I forgot about this. So I have this little notepad. There's a tutorial. It was day seven of junk journal gift ideas so check that out and that can fit right here in the back and so you have all of those journaling spaces right there 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, giving you an idea of another way to make a multi-pocket for your junk journals. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. On Mondays, we work on junk journals. On Thursdays, we do mixed media. And of course, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask, and then Check the description box down below for products like the Shabby Stitches, the Christmas Peacock, uh, and whatnot. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.